Today is another exciting one. We are going to start the rock building for the skipper's tank. I'm pointing over there because that's where it is. So, what I've done, I've measured the tank of roughly where I want it. So I'll show you that when we put it in there. Basically, referring back to the drawing, we're going to be making this today. So, I'll show you how to do it. So I've done a sketch and I realise you can't see it. This is wood. I really want to paint this like blackboard paint so I can like draw on it with chalk. But basically this is what I want to do. So I'll draw roughly where I want it already. It's going to be a gap so we can see through to the scape here. So the rock is going to be coming up. And I get some rocks out and then we're going to... So I've got my rocks out. I have a big, huge little dragon stone. See, yeah, that's about right. Well, so grab a piece. So this is our character in it. So we're going to be seeing it from this side. Ideally, oh, and we're going to want another one here. So this is another one, quite thin. You see what I did here? So like that. So I'll show you a trick. Here with me. This. This. Which way it was going like that? Because it's an awkward shape. Like that. Oh, so this, you haven't got to be too picky, you want it to look natural, you don't want it to look like... I think that looks pretty good there. I'll chuck another elastic band on it. Annoyingly they are slightly different colours. I don't have that big of a collection of dragon stone where I can be fussy with the colours. So there's that one on there. That fits nicely there. So this is going to be the challenge. <sighs> Thinking. We'll silicone them to the size. I think maybe have something here. Defeat the object of it. We might work. We might decide to add pieces or something like that. Just so we have a... I think that looks pretty... I think that's a bit too small to support it, so we'll find some redder. But piece. So we're gonna use this flat and we're gonna put it roughly there. I'm not Ooh, sure if you like that. What's happening guys, next day now. It took longer than I thought it would. I think I've been on it for now for about two and a half hours. It doesn't look much for two and a half hours, but it's about to do it right and take longer than not do a good job and it fall apart. It's done. So I'm gonna show you it in the tank now, in the position that it's gonna be in. And yeah, I'm really happy with it to come out. So you see it's not perfectly to the line, but it's thereabouts, so I think you can agree. So, again, really happy with it. Couple of tips.
and this is just a cigarette filter. So I'm gonna lift it up. Gently, because I don't want to look an idiot. But if you can see, freestanding. So the rock is suspended and it's not it's not budging at all. So I've done the back as well, so that's the important bit. Where you get most of the strength in, and it doesn't matter if you see them. With the ones that you do see, like down here and up on the top, you can cover these with plants, or you can put a bit touch more silk glue on it after it's all set, and then sprinkle some dust on it from the stone. Because if you're ever doing something like this, you want to buy like a couple of boxes of, of rock, and there's always dust at the bottom of them, and you'll see it will go in your car and get everywhere. Another tip is liquid super glue. I'm not sure the Frank so it's not have a band like. But yeah, just liquid super glue. And it's like two, three pounds for like, what is it, 50 grams. So, and where you get them little gel aquascape, aquascaping glue, it's just normal super glue, but it's a gel type. Even gel type super glues that are not like aquascaping glues, they are. Well, the, you don't really want the gel. You want you want the liquid stuff to run into the gaps. The gel's perfect for like plants and stuff like that. But for this, you want it to run and soak into the cigarette filter really easy. So I'm gonna shut it waffling. I'm gonna put it in the tank and we're gonna see what it looks like. All right guys, we're at the tank now and I'm gonna put it in place. As you can see, I've put a little bit of sellotape on the back. That is my aim for the like the end point. So that's roughly where it's gonna be. It's irrelevant for this part, but later on in the aquascape, it's gonna be important to make sure we stick to that. It's roughly a third of the way across, keeping to the rule of thirds. And it's about halfway up, just under halfway. So we wanna ideally keep to that. And I achieved my goal of keeping this super thin. It's a bit wonky, but it all looks, adds to the natural aspect of it. So, put it in. Okay, where it's gonna go? So we want it roughly there. Front. So about by there. So we got a little plenty. Super happy with that. Let's see if I can bring you a view of it. There we go. So on the next video. So I'll catch you later.